What's up, everyone? It's Bones here. If you like buying cards and wouldn't mind helping a content creator out, feel free to use my TCG Player affiliate link down below. It doesn't cost you anything to do so, except maybe an ounce of kindness. It's been almost a month since I made a video, and again, I'd like to thank everyone who stayed around waiting for me to rest up while I wasn't feeling well. I'm still getting my energy back as I've been feeling super fatigued over the last week, but I feel much better. I've decided to ease myself back into making videos and my normal life, which would probably be the best choice as I'm still feeling pretty shook over the last few weeks. So if I'm only uploading once or twice a week, I'm telling you now, but it's only temporary. Mirror Magic Master of the Ice Barrier is the first of four new cards that we'll be getting in Battles of Legends Terminal Revenge. It's a level two that reads, you contribute one other effect monster. You cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of this turn except water synchro monsters. Also, special summon up to three Ice Barrier tokens, Aqua, Water, Level 1, Attack 0, Defense 0, and if if you do, increase this card's level by the same number. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can add one of your Ice Barrier cards that is banished or in your deck to your hand, except Mirror Magic. You can only use each effect of Mirror Magic once per turn. So a really nice card here that's able to generate tokens and get you into more synchro plays, but also being able to tribute off any other effect monster is really nice. As we then have Georges or Gorgeous, whatever you want to call him, he's a level 6 water monster, winged beast, tuner, while you control another Ice Ice Barrier Monster, your opponent cannot activate the effects of monsters in the graveyard, so that alone is pretty strong if you do happen to end on it. And you can only use each of the following effects of Georges or Gorgeous once per turn. If you control an Ice Barrier Monster, you can Special Summon this card from your hand in defense position. If this card is normal or Special Summoned, you can Special Summon one level 5 or lower Ice Barrier Monster from your hand or graveyard. So the utility of this card is really nice as it just enables so much that you can do, as you'll see throughout the video, but we're going to continue here by normal summoning the Mirror Master. Then we can special summon out the George as we're going to go into our Marinsa Coil Anemone and then from here we can use the effect of Mirror Master in order to get ourselves the Medallion of the Ice Barrier. I almost called it the Talisman. But then we're going to use the effect here of the Medallion in order to get ourselves Speaker of the Ice Barrier, the Speaker for the Ice Barriers. And this is just another extender and it gets you two bodies in this deck as you're just able to special summon it out with its own hand effect and then you can banish it for a token getting an extra draw out of it in most case scenarios as you'll see momentarily but we're now going to use the anemone to bring back the token generator and then we can special summon out the speaker as we'll then be able to use the effect of the mirror master tribute off speaker as we'll then be able to get three tokens on board and get ourselves the effect of the speaker for the extra token and then we're going to be able to synchro away into the coral dragon we can then synchro away into the croc and now we have the ability to get the one draw off of the coral dragon and because we use the three tokens for the croc, we're able to get a total of three draws here. So this is four draws that you get off just a simple standard combo with our new card. Now this next combo features the revealer of the ice barrier along with the speaker, the new George along with the new mirror master, the speaker and your revealer are probably the most important monsters in the deck in my opinion. There's probably one more but I'll go over that later on in the video. We're going to start by normal summoning the revealer and using its effect which will pitch the speaker special summon out the mirror master and this is why it's so important just being able to get that pitch or an extra tuner which is really nice you can also get the george go for a synchro 10 from there but just little things like that that you have the ability to do which make this deck more flexible and something that was really needed for ice barriers as it never really had a direction but now it really feels like it does as we're going to go into the coral anemone we'll then be able to get ourselves the effect of the mirror master which will add us the george and now we'll be able to use the effect of of the Marincess Coral Anemone in order to revive the token generator. We'll special summon out the George as we're then going to be able to use the effect of the George to bring back the Revealer. And now we can go into our next new card and this is the Lancia Dragon Ancestor of the Ice Spirit Mountain. And it takes one water tuner plus one non-tuner monsters. Once per chain, if your opponent special summons a monster, you can special summon one Ice Barrier monster from your hand, deck, extra deck, or graveyard. Then you can change one opponent's attack position monster to defense position. You can only use this effect of Lancia up to twice per turn. If this face-up Synchro Summon card in its owner's control leaves the field by an opponent's card effect, you can Special Summon one Ice Barrier Synchro Monster from your extra deck. This is treated as a Synchro Summon, so pretty cool here as you can just Special Summon out of Trishula and then rip a card from your opponent's hand, graveyard, along with the field. But we're going to continue here by then using the effect of our token generator, tributing off the Anemone, and we'll be able to get ourselves our three tokens, as we're then going to be able to Synchro away and 
into the coral, use the effect of the speaker so that we can get that third token. And now we can go into the crocosaur for our draw four, giving us the ability to pop cards with the crocosaur. But then we also have the ice barrier synchro that we're getting to give us an extra way to disrupt our opponent while also having a way to float as well. And the really cool thing about this is that if you do happen to bring back an ice barrier monster from our hand deck, extra deck, or graveyard, we can also get ourselves the Georges, and this gives us a way to lock our opponent's monster if we do happen to control an ice barrier monster. Now, in the TCG, I'm unsure if this is an ice barrier. If it's not, then you may not want to revive this, but the point is that you can still bring back something like the Mirror Master, even the Revealer, get yourself follow-up that way, and just little things like that. Now, for this next combo, we have the Mirror Master along with the Speaker, and we're going to start here by normal summoning the Master. We'll then be able to special summon out the Speaker. We'll then go into our Anemone. A lot of our plays start like this, and the deck isn't really too hard to learn once you get the lines. You will understand the directions that you can go in, but we're going to use the effect of the Anemone here, bring back the Master, special summon out the George, as we're then going to be able to use the effect of George to bring back the Speaker. Go into our Lancia, use the effect of the Spirit Master, again, tribute off the Anemone. From here, we'll be able to get our three tokens, and you've seen this before, as we're going to be able to go into our Coral Dragon, use the Speaker for the extra token. We'll now be able to go into the Crocosaur for the draw four, and from here, we'll then be able to pass on to our opponent with the new Lancia, the Croco, the four draws, of course, which is just really nice, and of course, you can even continue playing depending on what the rest of your turn and hand look like. Now, for this next combo, we're going to continue here by normal summoning the Mirror, special summon out the Speaker first, since we do want to keep the Forge in hand so that we can revive the Speaker later, but we're now going to use the effect of the Mirror in order to get ourselves our last new card here. This is Frozen Domain, leading to the Ice Barrier, and it's a continuous trap that reads your opponent cannot activate cards or effects in response to the activation of your Ice Barrier monster's effects. If a monster is if special summoned from the extra deck, you can return one Ice Barrier monster you control to the hand or deck, then you can place one card on the field or in the graveyard on the bottom of the deck. You can only use this effect of Frozen once per turn. Once per turn during the end phase, reveal three Ice Barrier monsters with different names in your extra deck or destroy this card. Now keep in mind it's not during the end phase, it's only during your end phase. Special summoning out the mirror with the Coral Anemone so that we can then bring out our George, and then with the George, we can bring back our Speaker. The Speaker will then give us access into a level 10 Synchro, since we do have the level 6 Tuner here. We're then going to go into the Lancia. You can also go into the Ice Jade level 10 if you would like to, maybe Cheng Ying as well, but we're then going to be able to tribute off the Coral Anemone for the Mirror, as we're going to get our tokens, and again, you've seen this before, we're just going to go into our Coral Dragon, get the extra tokens so that we can go into our Croco, get the 4 draws, and now we'll have the Lancia along with the four draws and the trap in hand, which will give us a pretty decent end board just off of these three cards. Now this next combo features the Mirror Magic or the Mirror Master along with the Revealer, and we're going to start here by normal summoning the Revealer, pitch the Mirror Master as this will be able to trigger the Mirror Master in the graveyard while also getting another one on board so that we don't lose out on the token generating ability if we have to use it right away. But we're going to get ourselves the George, we'll then go into our Princess Coral Anemone, we'll then be able to bring back the mirror as we're going to special summon out the gorgeous or the george whatever you want to call it revealer off of the george as we're then going to go into our ice barrier synchro we're then going to use the effect of mirror in order to get ourselves our three tokens and again from here we'll be able to synchro away into our coral we'll then synchro away into our drag guide since we don't have the speaker for that extra token but i just wanted to show that if you don't have access into that extra level one token via speaker you still have the drag guide to give you a spell and trap negate, which is still pretty nice. For this next combo, I want to feature the runic engine, and I'm not going to show too much of the runic engine in this video, as it really is just an extra body that may deviate your plays just a little bit, but not enough to the point where I think it's worth making a whole video on it, because I just don't think it's not. We're going to start here by getting our slumber activation so that we can get our Hugin. Use the effect of Hugin pitching away the mirror, and that's just really nice, as it's going to get us the fountain along with triggering the mirror. This will give us the ability to get the George to hand. Normal summon our Revealer, as this will give us the ability to special summon out the George and then bring back the mirror. Now, we do have options. We can either ignore Nibiru entirely, which I will show on the next combo, but if you want to play a conservative approach and not even use the effect of Revealer so that you don't play so heavy into Nib, what you can do is make the SP Little Knight here, make your Lancia, and then just pass on this so that you aren't so vulnerable to Nibiru. Again, coming back with the same cards, we have the Slumber and Runic 
spell, really, along with our mirror and the revealer, as we're going to use the Hugin, get ourselves the fountain along with the Georges again, as we're then going to be able to normal summon the revealer. And from here, this time around, when we bring back the mirror master off of the Georges, we're going to end up having the capabilities to either synchro four here, or you can go into a seed two, you can also go into the SP little knight, whatever you want to do. But I'm going to go into the Quandox, or however you say it, yeah, the Quandox. And this is a quick synchro during our opponent's turn, so another Christron monster that'll give us that ability, as we're now going to use the effect of the Revealer, so again, ignoring Nib entirely here, unlike the previous combo, go into our Coral Anemone, we'll then be able to bring back the Mirror Master, as we're then going to be able to use the Mirror in order to tribute off the Georges for the three tokens. Here we're going to pass on to our opponent, and the entire point of this is just to show that you can actually use the Quandox in order to Black Rose during your opponent's turn, and the really nice thing about this is that in a simplified game state, what this actually gets you is some follow-up along with the ability to board wipe your opponent, which can be really strong because if you happen to leave your opponent on zero cards after using this, and then you get that follow-up for your own turn, it just could signal that you have game and end the game right there. It said there are many different ways that you can approach this board. You can go for a more standard ice barrier route, but I did want to show that you have this route to take if you want to do something maybe more unexpected and something that can still be pretty strong in the right situation. Now with all of the combos out of the way, we can get onto the deck profile. Other important ice barrier monster was Hexa, and this is just a pretty nice card because only can it be follow up if you do happen to somehow get it on board with an ice barrier and then send a level 3 or lower ice barrier monster which can end up sending the mirror master. But the fact that it's just a level 1 tuner can help you with some of your synchro plays, especially when you are relying on your runic cards in order to get there. That said, I do feel that the deck itself is very straightforward and to the point where you just have the cards that you want to play at 3 the most in terms of your ice barrier cards. You have your 3 medallion as well. Then you have your 1 ofs, which again, if you want to play around with these, and the judge is just a weird one. This is a format call where the top deck does happen to pay hefty amount of life points or just life points at all. This is a cool option that you can bring in for time. I just wanted to show that out there. Then of course, there's also the Trishula Zero Dragon of the Ice Barrier. I wanted to show this just as something else that you can summon off of the float effect with this if you would like to. Then of course, there's other Synchro 4 along with rank 2 options that you can play that you can make off of the mirror along with the Hugin that I thought was just worth pointing out. Of course, you don't have to play the Quandax and the Black Rose. You can end up playing the Bahamut Shark and the Toad if you would like to, or just other generic options. I did want to show for the video that you could just do that if it's something that you wanted to do. With all of that out of the way, since I showed everything I really wanted to show in the video or in the combos, I'm just going to get on with the card by card and we have the three Revealer, we have the three copies of Georges, the copies of Mirror magic. We then have the one copy of General Wayne, which again, if you want to play around with what this can be, whether it be another copy of Speaker, even another copy of Hexa, you can do that. Then have the one copy of the Frozen, the one copy of the Called By, the one copy of the Freezing Chains, and this is just another nice card as it's a monster reborn. And also, if you control three or more Ice Barrier monsters, Ice Barrier monsters you control are unaffected by the activated effects of your opponent's monsters that were special summoned from the extra deck. Then have the one Magma Storm, the one Dispelling, the two Fountain, then have the three copies of Medallion, the three copies of Valor, the three copies of Imperm, Hand Traps of Choice. Again, if you want to play Ash Blossom and Bell or something like that, you can do so, as we then have the three copies of Destruction, we then have the three copies of Flames, we then have the three copies of Curse, the three copies of Tip, we then have the one copy of Anemone, the one copy of SP Little Knight, the two copies of Lancia, the one copy of Ice Jade, the one copy of Trish, the one copy of Crocosaur, Dragite, we then have the Black Rose, Coral Dragon, Quandax, which again, if you want to change this package, you can. And then we have the one copy of Herald, the one copy of Jerry, and the two copies of Runic Hugin to round out the deck profile. So for everyone who's made it this far, I'd like to thank you for watching and for the 700 plus subscribers. I truly appreciate your support. And now that we've monetized the channel, giving us access to supers and memberships means that more awesome stuff is on the horizon. To get the channel membership, just click on the description below and there will be a link that takes you there. You'll also notice a free Discord link that I've made for us too. If you want to support me as a content creator, even if you can't donate supers or get a membership for the channel, clicking on those thumbs up and subscribe buttons help a lot too. For those wondering, I do plan on making updates to the channel as the support on the channel grows. Anyways, I hope to see you on the next one. It's Bones signing